Welcome back to the Oracle of Enlightenment. This is the Observer here, along with Gary the Silent Clown. Gary, how are you? I'm pretty good. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since you've been on the show. Uh, how have things been going? Great. I've been as busy as I've ever been. Yeah, you, you've been in, in, you've entertained at the White House, huh? Yes, I did. <laughs> and you've been on a few talk, quite a few talk shows, huh? <laughs> uh, yes, I have. Yeah. So how how have things been going? Um, you're here at the fair now. Um, what? How many venues have you been doing this year? Uh, it varies. Right after this, on Tuesday, I start at Dutchess County mm -hmm. Fairgrounds in Rhinebeck. And then after that, I go to Scattercoke Fair, which is for the Labor Day weekend. And then after Labor Day, I go home for a rest. <laughs> yeah, a nice rest, huh? So um, now you, you usually do balloon animals and a few tricks with the uh, um, unicycle as well as your drawings. Um, have you ever had any problems with the unicycle and with dealing with the kids? Um, I've never had a problem with it. That's good to know, considering how long you've been in the business. <laughs> yeah, some of the tricks I do with unicycles took me seven years to learn. Wow. What got you into being a clown? Actually, I was a uh, professor at college, and my students got me into it, and that's how I started. And for a joke, they said, why don't you audition for Ringling or audition for Clown College? And to my surprise, it got accepted, and it started all there. Wow. Now, you've been here at the fair for 23 years, right? 23 years. And last year you were uh, put in their Hall of Fame, right? Yes, I was. I see. How did that feel? <laughs> I didn't know a thing about it. <laughs> it was a surprise. It was after one of my performances. Wow, that's great. Um, so how, um, how long did it take studying to become a clown, to do the kind of things you do? Well, it varies, uh, depending on what portion of the program. Like the unicycles took a long time to practice and learn. Uh, now it feels like it's part of my body, so I don't even think about it. The rolling globe is a little difficult. Uh, it makes sometimes I make it look easy, but it's more difficult than the unicycles. Wow. What about the juggling? <clears throat> juggling just came easy to me. Uh, I also walked the high wire. Uh, that came easy to me, and trapeze came easy. Wow. And I, I don't know how you're able to balance the kids on your shoulders and stuff like that. That is just so amazing. Yeah, when they're on my six-foot unicycle, they're actually 10 feet high to the top of their head. Um, what, that took seven years of practice. And I practiced with my nieces and nephews. <laughs> and I told them to do anything they could think of up there so I would not be surprised by any movement. And where would you learn how to draw as good as you did? I've been drawing since I was eight, nine years old. And when I was a kid, I used to draw upside down. I used to draw looking in the mirror behind me. I learned to write with both hands. I learned to write backwards. Yeah. I was a strange kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, did they teach you the making the balloon animals at Clown College, or was that something no, you learned? No, no, they don't. You can learn that pretty easily for books. Really? Yeah. You ever have balloons break on you when you're trying to make them? Sometimes they break because if they get too old, they, they begin to rot. And sometimes you get a thin balloon in a bunch, and it'll break. But you just go along with it. So what's it like hearing the scream of the crowd? <laughs> oh, it's great. Never get tired of it. Yeah, you said that sometimes people uh, try to learn your secret identity, huh? <laughs> yes. All the time. But you're very careful about it, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. So do you have a website still? If you go to the Internet and type in Gary the Silent Clown, Everything comes up. I didn't put one thing in there. Wow. Someone was actually uh, looking at the footage I shot of you the other day on YouTube. Uh, Cliff was. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I have it up on my YouTube page at uh, www.youtube.com slash hippieboy123, the footage of Gary's show. It's a wonderful show. Uh, I'm amazed they only have you doing it once a day. <laughs> well, last year they had me do it twice a day. Uh -huh. Uh, this year it's once a day because the Chinese acrobats are back. Right. So I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you're performing before the shows and then uh, at the, uh, you do it in the parade too. Yes, in the parade. Yeah, how do you get the unicycle up some of those hills? We have no idea. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, besides the White House, is there any really big things you've done that you wanted to talk about? Well, I've opened up for a lot of bands and concerts um, I don't this is so many mm -hmm. 
uh, doing TV and stuff. Uh, Nickelodeon was fun, mm. working with the children. What did you do on Nickelodeon? We did clowning. We did clown bits. I had my clown car. Mm. It, it was more like an interview th thing. I don't know if it, you remember Kids World. Yes, I do. Uh, it was in the 80s. Yeah, great show. Great show. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you very much for granting us this interview again, and it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Okay, great. Thank you. Gary the Silent Clown, everyone. <laughs>